Hello viewers, welcome to the video library of Wardle Church of the Universe, City of Love and Forgiveness, the New Jerusalem. Enjoy heaven on earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The most holy. The great I am. The everlasting king. The I am that I am. His name is Jesus who came to set the captive free, to open the eyes of the blind, to make the poor rich, to heal the sick, and bring unity and peace in homes, marriages, and give children direction on how right to live life and live a perfect life here on earth. But they said no. It can never be. Religion said no. Ignorance said no. Satan said no. And had everything men is known for twisted distorted and had God misinformed and misinterpreted and men ever since then Christ left the earth has been in bondage in struggle and in confusion but where here we are In the embassy of the new Jerusalem to redo that and recover. Redo that that have been misdone and to recover what men have lost for thousands of years. Don't forget the book of Joel. He said the years, the canker worm and the palmer worm and the locust has taken from you will be restored. And on the last day, he will pour his spirit upon all flesh. That the sons and the daughters, they will dream dreams and see visions and get direction from God and live above error, mistakes of the parents, mistakes of religion, mistakes of the ancestors. And it said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 1, down to 9, that a point will come, the knowledge of God. The word of God will cover the earth as water cover the sea. Glory be to God. This day is that day that was being prophesied about by different prophets. Malachi, Ezekiel, and the book of Revelation. Today is the day of that fulfillment. Let's give glory to God Almighty. Yeah, it's a process, not an event. Do you not think that a problem that has been caused for thousands of years will just be corrected in a twinkle of an eye? And you, who is coming from religious background, with all what you have heard about God, still do you not think that you come here, the day you come, the day you get transformed is a process. It is a process.
But you enjoy life when you have thorough knowledge and understanding of this God and begin to worship Him in truth and in the Spirit. Begin to worship Him in truth and in the Spirit. So all these Bible prophecies when were you thinking they were or are to be fulfilled? When there is tsunami? When there is earthquake? No. They are going to be fulfilled when you repent and accept God in truth and in the spirit. When you become spiritual, no longer carnal. And many encounters I have had with people Immediately you go close to them, they say, can't you see everything that was prophesied in the Bible is coming to fulfillment? I say, look at you. What are those things? Can't you see there is a earthquake? Brother is turning after this. Government is bad. I say, is that what you call a sign of the end time? You are getting it wrong. There is no problem on earth. Evil that will happen, that happened that is greater than what happened during the days of the old. Where a person will make announcements, every child that is below two years or five months should go and you should go and kill the person. Kill the child. That one was the beginning of the time or end of time. I'm asking. What is to happen than what Adolf Hitler did burning billions of people and nobody said anything about that. So the world is becoming peaceful now more than it was before. A nation will move up and stand up sign agreement we are coming to take over your territory. And you see chariots and horse, people being slaughtered and killed. Massacred. And there is no authority even agitating or fighting against it. Because it's an agreement. We are coming to take over. If we win you, that is it. It becomes a plain agreement. So the world is becoming transformed. That so many people are no longer allowed to do their will. Because what you know, I know it. And civilization is coming. So why should we be pessimistic at all times? And hopeless at all times? Not knowing that the world is moving towards fulfillment. Bringing heaven here on earth. Is that it? In the time of old, before you hear the idea of a person, you must be there. But today, as I'm talking now, I'm talking to billions of people. And this thing which I am speaking today, some other person in 200 years to come, through this camera and everything, can see me live and hear me as if I was still living. So don't allow any person to brainwash you and continue twisting your brain with religious doctrine. Please, the world is not coming to an end. Are you listening to me? Nothing will happen to the world because it's not Satan that created the world. If he were the one that created it or was the one that created it, he has the right to destroy it. But if religion is telling you, Satan sent them to begin to tell you end of the world, the world is coming to an end, now they can be destroyed. But I'm not going to be destroyed and so many other things that belong to me are not going to be destroyed. What is not coming to an end? 
Ephesians 3, 21. Praise the Lord. So sit up and begin now to work on yourself. Stop expecting this and that. There is no heaven that is coming if you don't make it. If you don't work for it, nobody is bringing heaven to you. Nobody is bringing heaven to you. The peace you are looking for in presidency can never come to you until you make it out yourself. Ephesians chapter 3 To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generation forever and ever. Some translations say the word without end. The word without end. People are always thinking negative. You are looking for the end time when the world is going to be destroyed. And they will take you to go where? Where are you going to that you are not? Where are you going to that your heart cannot go to? Please, let's be careful. The heaven you cannot find here on earth in your heart. You cannot find it when you die. I told you a woman I spoke to in the church. She laughed inside my office rather. She laughed and got tired of laughter. Because I was telling her that you, madam, you can't stay in heaven. Because you don't know the principle. If you get to heaven, you run away. You run away because you have not built the principle, the atmosphere. All what you people know is die, 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 die. Attack my attacker. Back to sender. Fire brigade. Kill them before they kill you. That's all you know. You see life on the negative at all times. The life, I, I heard a man of God saying that the world is a battlefield. The world is, imagine that. <laughs> so the one Jesus fought and won 2,000 years, you are not making use of it. You want to create your own battlefield. Feel your mentality that you have believed that you cannot do anything until you steal. Until you cheat. You can't survive in life until you tell lies. Glory be to God. A lot of things had gone wrong. And that is what we came to correct. Without apology. We are not speaking for you to praise us. We are speaking that if you don't hear it, a generation to come will hear it and make use of them. I'm talking in case if religion, what your general overseer had told you, has clustered your mind, that when you see truth, you don't want to accept it. You will die. And generation that is going to come will continue with the right word of God. Please, anything that does not have proof is religious. Anything that does not have proof is religious, demonic, and satanic. Even the prophecies of the prophets was believed and trusted because they had been prophesying. All their prophecy, contemporary prophecy, came to pass. So when they are telling you that tomorrow this is what is going to happen, you believe them because already they had something on ground. So somebody is now telling you of heaven. He has never been to. The person is telling you about rapture. He has never been to. The person is telling you about judgment day. And about everything he has never experienced. And Jesus he has never seen or experience one day, then he is a liar. So today's message is titled Mercy. Mercy. Why is it mercy? When you are pleading for mercy, 
You are pleading for mercy because you had gotten something wrong. Mercy is different from grace. You had done something wrong. You have made mistakes in your life. You need mercy. I know I am at fault. Barista, I think, is, is, that, is that right? Eh? Mercy, when you are pleading mercy, mercy is different from justice. Okay. I think I'm becoming a barista of God. Praise the Lord. So when you are pleading for mercy, you know, actually I did wrong. But, let mercy come and bail me out that I would not repeat this error again. Not that what I did is right. But please, I need mercy. So the word needs to plead for mercy. Humanity needs to plead for mercy because what the spiritual leaders, the so-called spiritual leaders, had told humanity, what the forefathers and the people that had existed before men, before the coming of the new Jerusalem, told humanity were all lies and fake. Starting from your name. And the things we are giving name today. Starting from what? From your very name. Everything that must go the right way must be named after the Spirit, not before the Spirit. After experience, not before the experience. To give anything name, you watch how those things react, behave. You get the attribute and the quality and the characteristics, then you give it a name. Without watching them, understand how they operate, understand their attribute, and give it a name, you must give it a wrong name. So this now comes to say, for you to begin to get the right name of anything, one, you must be spiritual. Two, if you are not spiritual, you must watch to name it according to experience. Am I communicating with you? Alright. So if you say that somebody is a Christian, it's not blasphemous to call that person Christ. Then if you say that somebody is a Christian, there is something that is expected of that person to think, do, and behave like Jesus. But the problem now and the challenge of the society is that we give a person name a Christian without watching the person's character, attributes, and quality. It becomes what? An error. Everything must be named after the Spirit, not before the Spirit. Otherwise, you get it wrong. Adam and Eve, they were given the right to name anything on earth. It took them time. Why God did that was whatever you understand that is the function and the attribute of this thing, give it name. I, God, will not give it name. Give it name based on experience. That is the mystery behind saying that Adam and Eve were given the right by God to do what? To call anything name. Whatever you call name, whatever name you give to it, it becomes so. They started naming things based on the experience. Am I communicating with you? Experience and the function and the duty of that thing. It took them time to monitor. That was science that goes with observation. Today, everybody is qualified to be a pastor. And there is no attributes and quality and characteristics of a pastor found in you. Everybody calls himself Christian. There is no attributes of Christ in you. Everybody say, I'm born again. 
there is no attribute of being born again in you. You just have it as a tag and as a title. That is still the problem with your very name. With your very name. Your mother have ring, named you wrongly. They call you Mercy and you are a wicked person. They call you Chidebere and you are a wicked person. They call you, tell me how many, <laughs> praise the Lord, call you Grace and you don't have even nothing in you, nothing good in you. So you look at your name and find out that you are not really living your name. They gave you a name without being spiritual to your name. So parents have, even before giving a child a name, needs to pray and ask God, what is the reason why this child is coming to this earth? What did this child come on earth to do? What is the tag? Or do I allow? That is the reason why it takes seven days before a child is named. That seven days is a period of perfection. To wait and receive instruction from where? But you have turned it religious. Eh? If you are living maybe in a Yoruba place or the, the day of ceremony, they will block the road. They will block the road. The reason why it's left for seven days is to spirits to communicate before the child could name it. Just not that you just see a name, you say, This is the name of my child. Am I communicating with you? I'm telling you this because that is where the greatest power on earth lies. Immediately you understand spirit behind anything, you can control that thing. You can use it for your own good. You can use it to solve problems. I have taken time in so many places to explain to you people the name Ibo names, how they relate to each other and the spirit behind it. It took them time. Every tribe has a spirit behind their language. It took them time. They monitored that based on the function and the duty of that. They gave it name. Immediately you see church. You enter. A church should not is different from shrine. A church is different from temple. A church is different from a place where you see things that are not. A church is a holy place. Which before you call something church, you have to watch and observe. Whether it has the attributes of Christ in it, before you can give it a name. So life is built on processes, not on events. Everything you see happening had already been happening, but you do not know it. So the name should be the last thing given to something. When you understand what your name means and stand to leave that name, you can never be distracted by anything on earth then the spirit behind that your name will begin to manifest. I'm telling you the secret. Anything you know the spirit behind the name. Praise the Lord. What is this? Okay. This N-A-M-E is what? Name. Then, the 
reason why it is called name is what? Let's translate it. A name is the same thing as what? Amen. So the beginning is the name. The end is amen. The meaning of amen means may it be so. So after seven days of waiting to name a child, you now discover from spiritual revelation what the child came into the world to do. Then you give the child a name. The people around say amen. Am I communicating with you? The people around say, Amen. May it be so. May this name follow this child. And let him go into the world to manifest it. That is the reason why you see the coinage or the arrangement. Name is N-A-M-E. Amen is A-M-E-N. This is it. So anything you understand, like if you come to Igbo, what they call bitter leaf is what? Olubu. What's the meaning of Olubu? You are an Igbo man. What's the meaning of Olubu? You see? Uh, Chema. You don't know? Uh -huh, Daddy, Elder. What's the meaning of bitter leaf? What is the meaning of Olubu in Igbo? This, <laughs> this, <laughs> these are two names, two compound words joined together. Olu means something that is bitter. Bu means something that kills. So the the, 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 the leaf of Olubu, the leaf of bitter leaf, it is used for cooking because it's bitter. And the roots of bitter leaf kill somebody. Are you there? Yes, that is what they used to do rat killer. If you bring the root of uh, Olubu, dry it, after drying it, you grind it, it kills. You understand? It does what? It kills like acid. Don't try it at home. Don't try it at home. But if you want to experiment it, do it after drying it. Give it to the goat. Give it to a goat. The goat will die. Give it to a rat. The rat will die. So everything is named. So your life has not begun to have meaning. Not until you become a spiritual person. This Christianity we are talking about is not this noise people are making. Sit down to observe the spirit behind anything. Which I say, we say, and I am to tell you. That worshipping God in truth and in the spirit. With thorough knowledge and understanding is treasure in Pleasure in treasure. Treasure in pleasure. Treasure in what? Pleasure in what? In treasure. You 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 have this calmness. In service to God. When you are worshipping God in truth and in spirit. Nothing can make you to be afraid. You can't be afraid of death. Because even if this your physical body is being destroyed. It's a continuity. You had known things existing in the spiritual world before you died. So why should you be afraid of death? 
to us the living saints death is a blessing but those that have not come to the realm of understanding the functionalities and the matrix and the makeups of the spiritual realm they are always afraid of death but should it be that I have finished what I am speaking I am teaching the word what am I doing here on earth nothing there is nothing I am to see even in hundred years to come that means anything to me now in the physical world I enjoy life in the other world than here all this gra gra that is why you see us for over 10 years we have been existing here we don't want anybody to know about us we are teaching people or sending our message because we know people need it. Not for people to see me and call me a celeb, right? Or a great man of God. Not, I'm living above all those things. They are useless. So, you have not started living life or be in heaven here on earth not until what you are doing or live in or what gives you pleasure is built on the things what you are living for or things you do is something that gives you life wealth and comfort it has a proof of heaven on earth that is a proof of heaven on earth and there is no way you can find pleasure in treasure not until you have the spiritual backup of it they tell you life does not have duplicates life has duplicates the duplicates the original copy life itself is what is a duplicate the original copy of your life is the spiritual essence of you. The duplicate is these things which you see in the physical. So there is nothing you see in the physical that is not mirrored in the, in the, what? In the spiritual world. So what you are doing here is the photocopy of your original self. So if the photocopy is burnt, you have not lost anything because there is still a printing machine. You can go and duplicate it. So the first thing before you start living on this earth is to get your original copy which is who you are. And who you are is God. And God is built on nothing but on nature. And nature is built on truth. And truth is a science. So you get the specification of who you are first before you can come into the world and begin to exist when you exist you are not afraid to speak the truth because if they should destroy this photocopy are we there you didn't lose anything because the original copy is where but you people are carrying photocopy and making noise with photocopy The name Jesus is what? A photocopy of Christ. The original copy of Jesus Christ is the spirit behind the name Jesus. And Jesus cannot work for you. Not until you get the original copy. Which is the spirit, the attribute, the quality, the characteristics, the essence and the consciousness of Christ. That will connect you to God. If it is that you are carrying Bible, going to church, speaking in tongues, fasting, making noise, you are deceiving yourself. Because the original copy of Christ is not yet known. Am I communicating with you? Yes, this is it. So when you hear a name, sit back and ask for the spirit behind it. Good name could be destructive. Just as I showed you. A good dog can lead to a bad room. And as well can lead to a good room. But no bad dog. 
leads to good room. A name could be sweet, but when you go inside it, you see what? Nothing. Spirit is more powerful than the physical world. So you enter into rest. When what gives you life, you derive pleasure in what gives you life, wealth, and comfort. And continue finding it, looking for it till you get it. If not, what you are living here is a waste. It is lack of this reality of understanding the spirit of finding treasure, pleasure in treasure is the reason why people recreate themselves in evil, in alcohol, in sex, in lie, in gossip. They derive pleasure there because they have not found treasure, found treasure that is in truth. I was telling you people someday that when I was growing up, I wasn't watching film. Because if you end your life watching film, who is going to watch you? Who is going to watch you? Then if you must watch a film, watch film with paper and biro. Pick the lesson and the spirit behind it. If it is a good one, go and put it into practice so that you yourself will customize it and generate your own personal experience from that. You are the actor of your destiny. Actor of your destiny. There is a script written concerning you. You have not played out. And you are buying CDs to watch people in Facebook, in Twitter, in that. There is a script. There is what? A script written about you. Jesus Christ said, I came in the book of Hebrew chapter 10 to fulfill the volume of book written concerning me. Are Is that good? So names comes behind the spirit. When you understand the spirit, you will be able to know the attribute, the quality, the characteristics. God did not make mistakes in your naming, but your parents made, and you continue with that. God called us what? Human being. Human being. That is to say, a being I put in humus. A being I put in humus. A spirit I put in soil. In clay. But we now forget that spirit. The book of Genesis says that we are created in the image and likeness of God. That spirit is the likeness of God. That image is the molded sculpture which is this body. But today we have ignored the spiritual aspect of us. We are now humus, no longer human being. That is the reason why somebody will eat food three times a day. Take Nkwobi and he doesn't have a copy of Bible in his book, in his house. Now, he will make calls and do everything to feed the flesh. But he don't have a copy of Laws of Truth with him. If you tell him how much is the copy of the laws of the truth, he say is expensive. 5,000 naira is expensive. But he will use 5,000 naira to pay to, to get fee to go and watch football. He can't feed his spirit. So I'm telling you now, forget about this flesh. You can maintain it but let it not be your priority. Go and start feeding your spiritual being. 
so that you will be able to enjoy the essence of your existence here on earth. Otherwise, whatever you're doing here must be a struggle until spirit is involved. You can't walk with one leg. If you are walking with one leg, what are you going to do? You are jumping. And many of you are galloping in life, not even jumping. So, this first leg is your physical being. Your second leg is what? Your spiritual being. Go and study about who you are before knowing what you came into this world to do. I had given you this illustration before. You have seen a shoemaker. What did you learn from a shoemaker? You have seen a shoemaker. What did you learn from a shoemaker? What makes the sewing of a shoemaker to be strong? It's two things. The physical and the spiritual essence of it. That's the symbol it represents. If you bring a shoe, a thread is what? One. He divides, he stretches them. He doesn't cut it. He pierces the thread inside the shoe. One will go inside. The second one will come outside. That one that comes outside is physical. The one inside which is not seen is spiritual. But for the shoe to be firm, the spiritual and the physical thread must to be interacting. Through that interaction, perfection is attained. Did you get the wisdom there? Now what I'm telling you, what did you learn from a shoemaker? A shoemaker does not see the thread that is inside the shoe. But he uses imagination to get it and begin to interwoven. As interrelating, the shoe becomes strong. But if you leave the thread without the interaction of the boat, the shoe will not stand. So that is how your spiritual essence and your existence here on earth is supposed to be. You don't have to begin to look for a man. Begin to look for Buhari. Begin to look for government. Begin to look for somebody pointing gun at you. Begin to look for money. Go back to yourself. Bring the inner part of you. You become indestructible. You become what? Indestructible. But you lose yourself. You are just looking for who is going to pray for you. Who is going to speak prophecy on you. And you are a prophet. But you don't know. So to find pleasure, treasure in pleasure, or pleasure in treasure, is what? To worship God in truth and in spirit with thorough knowledge and understanding you go and relax nobody can intimidate you poverty can never intimidate you sickness cannot intimidate you if you are being afflicted by sickness by omission or commission you just tell that thing it's just a matter of time you will leave I'm the landlord you are a tenant I am an indigent you are a stranger and a stranger cannot be greater than the bible said it your body is the temple of what? Holy Spirit. So nothing happening to you that is a reality if it is negative. Not, if not because you have forgotten yourself. So you are human being. There is God inside of you. Everything is named according to his. When you get the spirit, then why people worship so many things? Why do they worship things? It's because truth has not been revealed to people. And when they monitor something, monitor something, monitor something over time, what are they going to do? They say this is an attribute of worship. Just like the sun, they worship. They are worshiping sun because it is at the center of the planet. All the planets are revolving on it. 
and it gives life and vegetation. It gives vegetation life. They say, okay, let us start worshipping it. Because this thing, the attribute is like that of God. They call son in Igbo what? Anyan, what is the meaning? Let's begin to go into this. What do they call it? Is it a theology, seminology? What do they call it, Jude? Remind me. Etymology. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Etymology. Etymology. You know to study things. That's anyan literally means eye that doesn't die. That is internal eye that watches the earth. Are you there? Eye that doesn't die. Internally, day in, day out, is shining. Not considering anything. Then they call it anya aon. The eye that doesn't die. It's internal. Maybe we will start another class. <laughs> eh? Or do we combine both? That's why they call it anyaon. Internal eye. It doesn't get old. So for that reason, we need to start worshipping this. Because it watches over the health. Then, some people worship moon and have it in their religious symbol. What is the meaning of moon in Igbo? On one, what is this? What is the meaning of that? They study all these things before they begin to name them. What is the meaning of Onwa? Onwa means Obunwa Anyaun. Because it is the reflection of the sun that gives the moon strength. Are you listening to me? Obunwa, Onwa. Onwa. Then they give it that name, Onwa. Obunwa, Anyaun. So without sun, there is no moon. So it is the reflection of the sun that gives birth to the moon. Glory be to God. So these are the things people think that life is a struggle. You pray fast. Who taught you that speaking in tongues is a means of communicating with God? It's confusion. It's confusion. So immediately you understand the principles and the spirit behind everything. And then you relax. Because you know who you are. I was saying this someday. Don't you know that glory be to God. If this man stand up. And this man is driving a car and this person hit an Okada man and this person hit Okada man and this person has one million naira in his account and this person has no he came with that car to look for what the children will eat before they go to school who will run <laughs> who will run this one that has one million naira will say hey God I hope you are not wounded I hope he's not wounded no 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 why because he knows that he can buy the Okada take the person to hospital <laughs> sit down he knows inside of him but this one who knows inside of him that he doesn't have one eye here. <laughs> so that is how it is when you are walking with the spirit of God and you have built a relationship with the spirit when Satan is there threatening you, you don't move an inch you face that devil because when you bring your original color the devil will know 
Am I communicating with you? You are owing somebody 20,000 naira. And you have no eating. Like what Daniel did last time. <laughs> you have no eating. And the person is calling you to pay. Whether he's calling you to pay or to ask you how are you. You will stop picking the call. Why? Because you don't have that money. But if you are owing somebody 20,000 naira and you have 1 million naira in your account and the person is calling, you can pick. Hello, hi. Where are you? Please, I'm busy. I'll get back to you. Because you know that any day you are getting back to the person, you're paying the money. But the person touching, even when you are calling him to ask him, how are you? <laughs> you ask, why is this man disturbing me? Okay. <laughs> is that true? So the confidence you have in life is built in inside. You go to church, they ginger you up. Have faith. Jesus is a Lord. Have faith. It's Jesus is Lord. Nothing is happening. But immediately you have a challenge. Bam! You see how the person will scream. That indicates emptiness. You see how the person will react. You say, ah, is this not the person preaching, carrying flyer? You see how aggressive you will be. That thing which you are is preaching is not in him. A pastor will slap somebody in the church. He say, why did he say it's righteous anger? Righteous anger, holy anger. You begin to use adjectives to qualify it. Instead of saying, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's not in you. It's not in you. So what you have inside is what propels you. And why you are jittery and afraid of everything around you, even war gecko is a suspect. In your life is because you don't have Jesus you are proclaiming. If you have Jesus, you can proclaim it. Anything can happen. Anything can do what? Happen. Nothing can happen. You people decorate bed. Paint the house for devil to come and enter in. Because of your thought pattern. And when he come in, you start looking for who is going to deliver you and set you free. Glory be to God. So, God have mercy. Have what? Mercy. If you will agree. Begin to look deep into yourself. Truth does not travel. Truth does not do what? Travel. This is a two world you're living in. This is the word of who? And this is the word of what? This is the, physical, the spiritual world. This is the spiritual world. Don't come out from here. Always be here 247. Don't be attracted by fancy cars. Friends, relatives, suggestions from people. Don't compare yourself who you are with whatever that is in the physical world. If you really want to live a fulfilled life. Before you could desire anything from here. Make sure that you have really understood who you are. So that when you are making a physical movement to this place. Am I communicating with you? You will not lose who you are. That is the reason why I'm, kill, I'm telling you people in the embassy, I say nobody should pray for blessing. Any day you know who you are, you know that the blessing that is here is more than you. But what we are asking is control.
What we are asking for is control. God has everything and everything God has is yours. But immediately he comes. These are houses, mansions, friends, suggestion, and everything. Everything, different kind of things. Wife, husband, children, different kind of things is in the world of what? But only two things exist here. And when these two is added up, they become one. The thing that exists here is who you are and who God is. Period. These are the two things. But immediately you remove your eyes and look at what. What you're supposed to have. Where you're supposed to be. Why, how people are regarding you, what they suggest to you, the name they call your father, they call your mother, they call your uncle, then you lose direction. You do what? You lose direction. Your concentration will be on who you are. When you are charged expansively, who you are would continue expanding. Will continue what? Expanding. Then it will get to whatever you are naturally. naturally those things whatever you need in life will naturally that's why i told you people there is difference between growth and expansion the person moving from here to here you see this bridge i drew moving from what to from who to what looking for greener pasture looking for greener pasture has lost who he is. But a person who knows who he is, you stay and continue to ember and expand your circle. When you begin to expand your circle, a point will come. All the what will come under you. So moving in a linear progression in one direction, that is in a straight line. I, I want to go and get a job. You walk out. You forgot where you are coming from. I went to uh, Lagos or to US to look for money. You forgot where you are coming from. That is the reason why you can do evil or commit anything. Because you have lost your identity. You hear that they are deporting Nigerians. From Ovi. The reason why they are deporting them is because they left who they are at home. They went to make money. So when they get there, the original who that is still found in London, in Dubai, in everywhere, is no longer what they are interested in. They are in, interested in what? They can step on the foot of morality in order to make what? But should they go there with who they are? Today, in their justice, then they will be able to get whatever they are looking for. In their justice, they will attract mercy. And trust grace. Am I communicating with you? Now, to find treasure, the key to finding treasure pleasure in treasure one is have a thorough knowledge of what you do thorough knowledge of what you do thorough knowledge and understanding of anything you are doing understand it the two second part of it is make sure that the primary essence of what you are doing, primary reason of whatever you are doing, is to save life and to serve life. S A V E and S E R V E. The primary purpose of anything you are doing on earth is not for money making, or to be popular, or to be known, or for people to see you. The primary purpose 
is to save and serve life. Then, when the primary purpose of whatever you are doing in life is to save and serve life, oh God, you can never get tired doing that. And the more you are doing it, the more wealth is coming. The more you are doing it, the more life is coming. The more you are doing it, the more comfort is coming. Because you are walking and identifying with the spirit that has the attribute of saving life and serving life. Did you get it? Your primary purpose of doing anything. Why so many of you fail in business is because you are doing business to make money. That's why you fail in business. You are not doing business to save and serve life. So if the money is not coming, you get frustrated. But if you are doing it for service, why so many of you fail in exam is because you are writing exam to pass exam. Am I communicating with you? You are writing exam to do what? To pass exam and get certificates. That is a title. Study to know and understand what you are studying. If you write exam, fine. If your exam did not come, fine. If they give you certificate, fine. If they didn't give you a certificate, fine. You have known and understood that which you went to university to do. That's why people like us never use our certificate to look for a job. I don't know how to write application and nobody have ever arrested me since then. Are we there? Nobody has ever arrested me and I'm not going to look for a job. I will be a job maker and so shall my children be. Yes. So shall my children be. We have started ch some, some children here now. They are consulting them. You can't employ them. How do you pay New Jerusalemites? How much do you have? What you can tell them is consultancy. Work from two hours, please, and go and do the things you came to do. But somebody will use money and rope who you are inside what is given to you. You lose your identity, you lose your integrity, you lose your freedom, you lose your peace, you lose your comfort, you lose your marriage, you lose everything because you're looking for money. I laugh at families. Where is your wife? Where is your husband? He's in London doing what? For how long? For five years. Uh -uh. Your husband married you and can't stay in London for five years. So you people are contractors. He's looking for what? Paper. Whatever happening to the children is none of your business. What you are interested in <laughs> is to make money you are in overseas. Is it not true? Eh? Glory be to God. I will not leave my wife in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I won't leave her because of money. So, the primary reason why you are, now you, you are doing things is for what? To serve life and to save life. Now you go overseas and start walking there and your children are rotting here. Have you seen how you have lost the primary purpose? Saving life and saving life because charity begins at home. So when you begin to use all these things, you will not behave like an animal. Claiming that you are a big boy. What does it mean that you bought a car and bought a house with the money and one of your daughter is wayward. One of your daughter is wayward. Have you seen that what have denied you who? And ruin your generation. That's the point. This 
is what the Westerners did to us, ruined humanity by bringing Roman paganism in the name of Christianity. Everything about your identity and natural, you forget them, you threw them away and start following them. Now we have been following them for over a thousand years. They couldn't give us that Jesus. And you tell me we will not come back and look for our originality. You call us, we wouldn't take them away. They brought what to you. You forgot who you are and start following them. A woman who is a part of one of the religion's addicts, the Abraham's teacher that came here, when she came here after scattering pieces, seeing what the Westerners brought to us in the name of Christianity, she told me she has never heard this kind of things. Now you are opening my eyes. But I wedded in Catholic Church and uh, my parents, my this and that is in Catholic Church. How are we going to come out of this? I know my husband will not agree. How do we come away out from religion? We have been entangled. And I'll ask her, madam, what is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? She told me it's rice, rice and stew. I said, okay, after eating rice and stew, which is your favorite? And the body is taking what is needed. When you want to go to the toilet, do you cry? Do you feel I won't go to the toilet because the rice is too, I'm going to lose it? I'm asking, including you. The rice and stew has done what it came to do. There is one they call physics. So it is time to go and go to the toilet to defecate and throw away the chaff out of it. So thank God they have introduced Christ to us. Fine. We are done with them. Bye bye religion. Let's go to the toilet please. Let's do what? Let's go to the toilet. So that you gave me address to some place or you lead me to a place does not mean that if I find out that where I am is not where I'm supposed to be, I, I won't run away. I won't run away. It is good to agree to somebody that, hey, I'm going to take you to such a place. But make sure you take me there. Not if I'm say, I say I'm going to Cardona or Lagos. What is a town before Lagos? Yeah? Badagri. Ibadan. Okay. I say I'm going to Lagos. You enter a car, you take me, you get to Badagri, you tell me no. In the name of Jesus, this is Lagos. I say I'm going to Lagos. You say in the name of Jesus, this is what? Lagos. <laughs> That's where Jesus will not walk. I must get to Lagos. So they have tried to bring us to Badagri. It is time they can go back or they take us to Lagos where we are going. I'm not going to stop halfway. Did you get it? So the uh, Catholic Church or whatever, any religion or Pentecostal madness or whatever, they have tried at least to remind us that yes, Jesus is Jesus. But they have lost the spirit of Jesus. What they are using is letter, what, title, structure, but Jesus is in the heart, not in the cathedral. Am I communicating with you? Right. So we are coming from the embassy of the New Jerusalem to open every person's eye. Are you a pastor? Give us your report card. Give us your attributes. Give us your behavioral pattern. How many people have you transformed their life? Not shouting in the altar. How many families have you given peace? Check any New Jerusalemites. If you see them, even not even in my presence, everybody will just be saying, 
if I didn't find this place, I don't know how my life would have been. If I didn't find this place, I would have died. And if I didn't find this place, why are they saying that? They are saying it because they have seen what they are looking for. They have discovered who they are. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory be to God. They have found it. So no other place to pass and go to. No, when you tell me about Jesus, you come on the way, you stop me, you start asking me to pray. I fast. I have faith. Have faith to do what? Do I need a faith to, faith to live? Was a child. Was I born because of I have faith? I came into this world from divine programming. So don't regulate me. A child does not use faith to suck the mother's breast. Eh? He doesn't need what? It's a lie. A child does not need faith to suck the mother's breast. And a little child does not fast before the father puts him in school. So also, I did not fast to come into this world. So if you will be my mentor, show me what I came into the world to do. Don't ask me to follow you. Teach me my destiny. I follow my destiny. You go your way. Am I communicating with you? Show me my destiny. Immediately you are done showing me my destiny. We become friends. If religion does not go and churches does not close down and follow the right path, then I'm not serving a living God. That is what I'm born for and that is what I'm going to die for. People must be free. I had said this someday. Who, who has phone here? The end of slavery. A person will bring a phone and show you that this thing makes call. This thing makes call. After showing it to the congregation, everybody will clap. Hey, phone can make call. Phone can make call. He will put it in the pocket. He will not tell you where he bought it from. Because he's not the one that manufactured it. That is even the, the demon in religion. He will put it in the pocket and say, anybody who wants to make call should come and recharge. If you recharge the phone, you make call. After making call, you drop it in the church or you give him, you put it back. You go. Tomorrow, if you want to make call again, you come. Instead of telling you where he bought the phone, so that you too can buy phone, if you want to make call, even in the midnight, you make call. So why must I pass through pastor before I pray to God? So God is the property of pastor. I'm just renting God from pastor. One million people will be following one person that has a phone. Daddy, I want to recharge. I want to call my uncle in the village. He said, okay, come to the church. So that he rope you there. He is not the one who manifests. They are looking at me. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Chapter 23. He is not the one that manufactures phone. It's not his property, father's property. They gave to him. Go and tell these people how to make call. And where you bought the phone. So that everybody can buy and make call. He came and used it to become general overseer. Because he's the first person that got phone. But when you come to the embassy, I won't even allow you to use my own phone. Because it's customized. Eh? You don't use my own phone. I show you where to buy it. Teach you how to use it. You go and buy your own and use it. If you can't buy it, you go. My name is Ifanacho. Ifanacho means Ife Anacho, the light they are looking for. So there is no way. <laughs> So, there is no way I will give you my own phone. It's entitled, it's my destiny. Who 
who owns it. Praise the Lord. Barista, you see? Now I'll collect this in now and tell you, Barista, any day you want to make call. You come and I recharge cards and make call. Is it not slavery? I'm not the owner. They will collect your money. Now, if you go to airport, crowds fill everywhere. Now, is these people that are collecting money from you are using your money to fly? Why? Because they are kidnappers. Then you who wants to travel, you enter night bus. Are you there? You'll be going to a crusade, you enter night bus and go. The general overseer will enter plane. And it is your money you used to pay for the flight. Eh? Yes. No one will enter night bus. <laughs> you enter night bus to go and meet daddy G.O. to lay hand on you. When will you people realize how far you have been enslaved? If they continue with what they brought, should we still continue? Why can't we ask questions? Is that not true? Eh? You take flights, you go on foot. When you see God there, daddy, daddy, if daddy had told you, both of you don't even supposed to go to anywhere before you could be saved. Am I communicating with you? Yes. Collect your money, pack all of them. It's taking flight. You enter night bus with Gura Gura. Tomorrow, if you have an accident and die, what is he going to say? Eh? Okay. It's not even there. You are going too far. For him to say it is the will of God, he will tell you. Before he come for burial, you have to finish paying the dues. Before they, he will come for your burial. They have to go and check whether you have finished. What do they call it? Is it late or levity? Levy. After checking your record and you are owing one naira, forget it. They will bury you without a holy communion. It's not coming. And you still think th everything is alright. So what we are looking for now from God Almighty. Don't claim anything you know anything if you come here. Start pleading for mercy. Start asking for what? If whether you are wrong. <laughs> your name is wrong. Your name is what? Error. If they type your name in spiritual computer. You will detect error. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. Am I communicating with you? I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't. He will say it seven times. Let me tell you, many of you is not qualified to exist here on earth. Or should I say, you are just existing. You don't have life in you. Existence is different from living. Existence is different from living. A person who is living is alive. And you live what you worship. But existence, it can go. Anything can go. Let's go to the book. Um, I was talking about phone, collecting phone. Only one person has phone in the whole. In the whole world. You know what I call church now? I call church fish pond. What fish pond? Where catfish are being raised? Any day they want, devil want to slaughter. You come and pick one person and slaughter. Either they give you a chair or they give you kidney, liver problem, or they give you heart attack or stroke or anything they want. They can flash. You are gone. Praise the Lord. Matthew 23. Let's go to verse 13. We don't have time. Plead for mercy. 
But what are you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. Let's rephrase it. What to you pastors prophets and general overseers hypocrites for you bought a phone and have it only to yourself and to your families you don't want to tell us where you bought it from or how to use it you always demand that anytime we want to make call we must come to you is it understood that what he's saying let's go let's go what to you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you devil widows houses and for a pretense make long prayers speak in tongues fasts cause a problem in their life let's go Therefore, you will receive greater condemnation. You greater what? Have you seen it? They say, don't judge. What is, what is Christ saying here now? Condemnation. Let's go. What to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites? For you travel land and sea to win one prostrate. And when he is one, you make him twice as much as sons of hell as yourself. We are winning souls. We are winning souls. In the name of what? Do you know what is soul? Do you know what is winning? You don't know. You bring somebody and accept Jesus Christ. I have come to accept Jesus. Give me what Jesus gives. You start promising me. Rapture is about to come. Make him hellish. Do we continue? Let's go. Woe to you, blind guys, who say, Whoever swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whoever swear by the gold of the temple, he is obliged to perform it. Do I explain that to you? Eh? Do I explain that to you? Okay. When you go to all these uh, prophets and prophetess, they say, make a vow with God. Challenge God. Tell God that your first salary, you are going to give it to the church. Are you there? Then, you swear. You make a vow. Tomorrow, even after five years, you got a job. No longer from the trace of what they prayed for you or prophesy. What is the next thing? You go and redeem that. That is the reason why. Immediately you go to church. Of all these churches, the first thing you, they do is baptism. When they give you that baptism, you have made a vow not to leave that church so many people have come here and tell me does it mean i'm going to be baptized again i said we don't even baptize we baptize by water and by holy Ghost. the baptism of holy ghost is what we are in you make a covenant then if you stay like two three days and they see the car you are bringing in is okay and your dressing is okay the next thing is that they make you a cell leader or a deacon or a deaconess or look for one title and give you bam you are there each time you want to move out they tell you you are back sliding true of us that is the vow even when you find good team that's like what so many people are saying i have wedded in this how can i live <laughs> if you don't leave you'll be destroyed so what the hypocrite does or do 
is to make sure that they use one thing to rope you. You make a vow. But Jesus is saying, even though you have made a vow out of ignorance, if you find the truth, go away. Glory be to God. Blind guys who say, whosoever swear by the temple, it is nothing. Do you understand? But whoever swear by the gold, what gold? Anything that will bring profit of the temple, he is obliged to perform it. Glory be to God. So the gold in the temple is the material things. The first one he says is the spirit of the temple. By the temple, that's the spirit behind it. The gold there is the material thing. So what God is interested is in your heart. So every person here as far as we are consigned have been misled so when you come to the embassy the only thing you need to plead is mercy whatever whether you are a pastor or a deacon or a deaconess or second in command or general overseer or bishop or chairman we don't care we don't care what we are interested in is that you have to Start afresh to for we to show you first who you are. Are we fed? Are we fed? Mercy. What? Mercy. Mercy. What's your Igbo name, sir? Okonkwo. This one no follow. This is Igbo dictionary. What's in your conco? Eh? Eh? Uh huh. What's your Isekiri name? Isoko name? Omoyozo. What is the meaning of Omoyozo? Eh? Child with good head. With good head. Okay, that's why you're a barrister. Sit down. Praise the Lord. Child with good head. So, you have to leave it. What's your name? Onyinye Chiku. Okay. Then, are you leaving it? Say, tell me you have started leaving it. Uh huh. Joy, what is your your tribal name? Oriana Ebena. Oriana Ebena. Oriana Ebena. What is the meaning of Oriana Ebena? What is the translation? That is someone is a savior. <laughs> savior. Savior. Have you people seen it? Eh? Okay. You are trying. You are in sanctuary keeping. You are still. You are still trying, you know. Uh huh. Daniel, stand up. What is the meaning of uh, my your tribal name? Oban. What is the meaning of Oban? First son. First son. Okay. Sit down. Okay. Uh huh. So I don't know. Joshua said he doesn't know. Okay, can you bail him out? He's your brother. What's your name? What's your tribal name? Onoshikome. Everything good is mine. Everything good. Thank God you started here with as a child. Everything good is mine. Please, if you don't know, you go and ask your your parents. You have to rededicate this name. 
If your name is the name of a shrine, I still prefer you change it. Am I communicating with you? I still prefer you now change it by yourself and rededicate your name. You are free to do that. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, pick any name that you think you are from today begin to look into on how to manifest it. Is the class ending well? I'm asking, is the class ending well? Go and look for your name. Rededicate. You don't need a bishop. You don't need a pastor. You don't need anybody. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, they said that this is my name. But now, I was blind. Now I can see. This is the name I feel is good for me. Then you dedicate that. After the dedication, start bearing the name. And be conscious of it. And try as much as you can to leave it. Then the spirit of that name will come. And begin to lead you. The spirit of that name will come and begin to leave you. I never knew the meaning of Ife natural when I was born. But I located the spirit. And when I located the spirit. Praise the Lord. When I do what? When I located the spirit. The meaning of my name. It started working for me. Before you begin to look for a prophet. That will tell you. Uh, this you ate rice yesterday. You ate beans yesterday. You packed out from old house. You are going to the new house. You are By tomorrow you are going to do that. They are all good. Because it's a confirmation that they are seen in the spirit. But what we are interested now is solution. What we are interested is what is solution, not prophecy. You have been prophesied of by your father and the creator that brought you into this world. I tell you how all this prophecy is like. I'll say this someday and I'm repeating it. If you see a fish in a show glass, see a fish in, in what? In a show glass. That fish is not your fish. Because you can't assess it until you have the key that opened the, the show glass. So somebody telling you that you are in a cage. You are this. So I'm, somebody is following you. I don't need to know that. Do you have the key to the cage? If you can open the cage, I can assess it. I dream dream and saw one old woman trying to stab me. Did you stop the old woman from stabbing you? That's what we're asking. Am I communicating with you? Because why I'm saying this is that so many people, when you come and tell them, don't fast, do good, think good. They say, no, after fasting, I saw revelation. I used to see the, the, the cause of my problem. It's not seeing the cause of your problem is your problem. Your problem is that you don't have solution to your problem. And for you to have solution to your problem, you must first know who you are. Thank you, Lord. My, this generation will not be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy. I give you grace. I give you grace to ask God Almighty to guide you. To guide you. Any teaching that doesn't take you to who you are is deceptive. Heavenly Father, I pray for the world. Solve their problem through them in the mighty name of Jesus. Through them in the mighty name of Jesus. Make them the shepherd of their destiny. The Lord of their destiny. The Lord of their destiny. The Lord of their destiny. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father. Any spirit of religion in them. May they be delivered in the name of Jesus. Is a time for solution. Is a time for solution. 
Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be freed in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. I'm rededicating your name to the altar of your heart. Heavenly Father, ancient of days, if you have a good name, let your name work for you. Let your name work for you. I ask the spirit of your name to locate you. The spirit of your name to locate you. The spirit of your name to locate you. In the name of Jesus. The spirits of your name locate you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, be connected to who you are in the name of Jesus. Be connected to who you are in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, ancient of this, I pray. I pray as I speak now, let your spirit locate you now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Are you in the east? Are you in the west? When the perfect comes, the imperfect disappear. I begin to speak any foundation that is not according to the will of God. Any imperfection in your marriage. Any imperfection in your foundation. Any imperfection from your parents. Let it be corrected in the name of Jesus. Be corrected in the name of Jesus. I declare you free and whole. Free and whole. Free and whole. In the name of Jesus. Any family dedicated to idol. Heavenly Father, as I speak, thunder and lightning will scatter that idol in the name of Jesus. Scatter that idol in the name of Jesus. Scatter that idol in the name of Jesus. Freedom. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Don't look for a job without looking for who you are. Don't look for a wife without looking for who you are. Don't look for money without looking for who you are. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. Who you are is your kingdom. Heavenly Father, I pray. As I'm speaking, Heavenly Father, wherever, whoever have missed his spirit, his soul, let them be reconnected in the name of Jesus. Reunited in the name of Jesus. This house is not a barrier. As you are now, this word I'm speaking is not time bound. It lasts forever. Heavenly Father, whoever hears this and want to rededicate his name, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, I rededicate your name in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Praise be the name of the Lord.